Hey, what's going on everybody? I am your host Dragon and watch as I breathe my fire into your soul with Would You Rather. Now, before I get uh, straight into the video, I just want- there's a dog barking outside. SHUT UP! Anyways, uh, before I uh, get into the video, I just want to say uh, really quick before um, just I start. Um, as you guys know, I'm still very, very new to YouTube, and I'm still kind of trying to figure stuff out and really trying to... I'm, I'm still new to it, and I'm still trying to just, you know, figure... God, this dog, if it doesn't start barking, I'm going to get mad. Hopefully, you guys can't hear that, but, um... Anyways, I'm sorry. I'm rambling already, even though the video just started. Um... I'm still kind of new to YouTube and everything like that, and so, um, I'm still not sure on all these recording techniques, and I'm still not 100% sure how to really properly manage everything, and I really am sorry for that. I know it's, you guys deserve the best quality that I can possibly get you guys, and I really am trying, but because school is around and stuff like that, I don't really have all the time to edit videos super perfectly and stuff like that, uh, at least as much as I would like to, like when I was on summer and stuff, like with GTA videos and stuff like that, but, um, so, uh, most YouTubers that you guys have probably seen a billion times already play this, and I know I'm super late to the party, but most YouTubers you guys have probably already seen play this, uh, just have the Would You Rather questions shown here. Hopefully that's how I have it, and uh, I'll give you guys a time to skip to just in case like this is completely useless and you guys don't need this information. Uh, I'll put it up on the screen right now just in case I figured it out and you guys don't need to hear this, but uh, just in case I don't figure it out, um, Basically, I'm not 100% sure exactly how to record only certain parts of the screen uh, with the recording method that I use. So maybe like, uh, I, I use Lightworks editing software, the free version. So maybe if there's something I could do in there to zoom in or something, you guys could tell me. Uh, like I said, maybe I already figured it out uh, the time I already put it on the screen. So, but uh, if not, you guys are going to be seeing the little either thing. You guys are going to be seeing the, this weird bottom part of the screen. I'm going to try and like um, kind of window box it so you guys don't see the weird awkward parts uh, like how I do in most of my uh, videos with browser games where I just put that like black bar at the top just so that thing doesn't bother you uh, so um, j just in case that happens uh, you guys are gonna be seeing the entire page and the co the questions might appear to be a little small and it might look a little weird compared to the other stuff that you've seen so I'm sorry if that does happen but uh, anyways now I'm finally gonna get into this video uh, I've really wanted to do this for a while now because um, lately you guys seem to be enjoying the discussion videos and I thought it would be cool to kind of put a different kind of twist on that kind of discussion thing by just presenting myself with a bunch of uh, questions and you know decisions to make and stuff like that kind of like how I did in sort the court uh, so anyways uh, without further ado we're gonna start so would you rather steal an elderly woman's purse or tell 10 orphans that Christmas is canceled Ooh. okay let's think about this for a second if you steal an elderly woman's purse it depends on what's in the purse because if it's a credit card you could just uh, because I think if obviously I'm not a horrible person and I would never do any of these things in real life, but if I had to, if I stole an old lady's purse, if I really, really had to, if she really, really wanted to, if she had any credit cards or stuff like that, she could, uh, uh, deactivate them and stuff like that, uh, but then again, there might be pictures and stuff in there, there, like, from her family, and maybe just, like, maybe she has, like, a thousand dollars or something, like, in there, um, so, I don't know, that would really suck, and telling ten orphans that Christmas is canceled, um, I actually think it's pretty, this is a pretty easy one, I would probably rather tell ten orphans that Christmas is canceled, just because, um, just because of the fact that, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm losing my train of thought. The dog's still barking and there's police sirens outside. That's my neighborhood for you. But, um... Anyways, I would probably rather tell 10 orphans that Christmas is canceled because A, none of them would probably believe me depending on how old they are, and B, uh, even if I did tell them, it doesn't mean that Christmas is actually canceled. So that's not really that big a deal. But even if worse comes to worse, let's say just in uh, just the worst case scenario, Christmas actually is canceled. Uh, it does suck because they are orphans and they, um, you know, they don't have a family and they might be living in a home that's not really treating them too nicely. But worse comes to worse, you're... If Christmas is canceled, most of the time it'll just be that they're not getting presents and extra stuff. But with if it's an elderly woman's purse, she might have important stuff in there that she really act actually like necessarily needs. So as much as it would hurt me to have to do it, I would probably have to tell the town orphans that Christmas is canceled. Aw, oh, man, most people didn't agree with me. I can see why people are kind of split on this one, but I'm still sticking with my decision. I think telling 10 orphans that Christmas is canceled is less harmful because most likely Christmas isn't even canceled. So uh, anyways, would you rather be blind or be dumb? Oh, God. 
Okay, this is kind of a, um, the term dumb, I'm assuming that the term dumb, uh, is referring to, like, mental retardation and, like, you just, like, not being able to, uh, become intelligent in certain aspects, um, y like, if you guys get what I'm saying, I, I hope that didn't sound, like, bad or mean or anything like that, I really don't want to sound like this, and I really hope that I, um, let you guys know that, like, I have res the highest amount of respect for all of the people who go through these things, but just to kind of, you know, when I'm talking about stuff like this, th the bad stuff's gonna come up, and it may kind of sound like I'm insulting them, but just know that it's, that's not obviously how I feel. So, um, Let's think about being blind for a second. If you're blind, you can't see. And in a world where there's so many visual entertainments, that would really suck. Because, like, for me, right now, like, being a YouTuber, um, I wouldn't be able to edit videos as well as I could, and I wouldn't be able to see how time syncs up with audio and stuff like that, and I wouldn't be able to play video games and stuff like that, so that would really suck, but I could still enjoy music and stuff like that, but whereas being dumb... Being d as much as I hate to say it, and this is probably gonna sound really bad if you're being dumb See I'm taking dumb as like a mental retardation kind of thing because blind is like a disability kind of thing So I'm assuming that they're talking about like a dumb disability kind of thing But um if you're like uh if you if you're going through like a kind of mental like you there's something wrong And you can't really uh think as well as everybody else does or like just something's wrong in your in your brain Um you could probably get some kind of compensation from the government so that you could live just in case it's like so bad where you can't can't work and you know your family will always be there to take care of you and it'll always be uh, good but um you probably won't be able to experience things the same way that you would normally I mean you, like if I was um, dumb like in this sense I wouldn't be able to even be talking to you guys but if I was blind I would still at least be able to learn how to read like in that dot kind of code that blind people read in and I would still be able to enjoy music which is a super important part of my life because if I was uh, dumb in that uh, aspect I don't like using the word dumb either and I don't want to say retarded because that sounds kind of harsh but uh, I'm using the term that they gave me and so uh, I would probably rather be uh, blind just because I could still enjoy music and if you guys uh, to tell you guys something about myself I am so in love with music without music my life would be so empty and there would just be so much that I couldn't have and if I was dumb I couldn't really enjoy music in the same way and really you know explore as many things as I could and be able to express myself in the same ways that I do so I would have to pick blind for that one Wow really well, I guess if you're dumb, you don't have to deal with a lot of the, uh, I can't, I didn't think of this till now, but I guess if you're dumb, you don't really have to, like I said, like how you get compensation for the government and you get your money, you don't have to worry about, um, all this stuff with making your own money and all of the stress that comes with being, uh, you know, uh, one of the more, I don't want to say normal people because that sounds kind of bad, but you know, one of the more common kind of people who function like, uh, properly as the, uh, the body is designed to and the brain is, uh, wired to work, but, uh, I would probably rather be blind just because I couldn't enjoy music the same way, uh, I couldn't talk to people the same way and interact with people the same way. I would lose video games and I would probably use YouTube and you guys and that would really suck, but I would probably lose that with either of these, so. I chose blind. Um, would you rather have paparazzi follow you around or reveal a different secret about yourself in a weekly newspaper column? Ooh, this is hard. Because you see, the thing about this is, if you have paparazzi follow you around, it's gonna suck. It's gonna get annoying. You're never gonna have any privacy. You're, you're never gonna be able to properly be alone and you're always gonna feel paranoid that someone's watching you what you're doing like if you're freaking jerking off in the bathroom or if you're uh, taking a dump in the bathroom or if you're freaking uh, in your room watching uh, Barbie Pony Princess Adventure and you don't want anybody to see <clears throat> that's not me uh, um, so it would just kind of suck because you wouldn't have a lot of privacy and you, you, you know you would go to the store and you would just get bothered by people you would go to the movies and you would just get bothered walking in and it would suck but um, the thing about Sorry, I just, I heard something. There's more sirens outside, but, um, if you have paparazzi follow you around, you could kind of get accustomed to that and learn how to hide yourself and learn how not to get your secrets revealed. Whereas if you had to reveal a different secret about yourself in a weekly newspaper column, you have to reveal a secret about yourself in a weekly newspaper column. So unless you could find a way to create a new secret about yourself every single week that, like, won't really hurt your reputation or anything like that, then it's gonna suck. And because your parents and your personal family, like, because if you have a secret about someone, like, let's say there's some, one of your friends at school you have and you secretly just don't really like them, it's not that they're not good people, it's just you don't like being around them, you think they're boring or something like that, and you have to post a secret every week, eventually they're gonna find out and you guys are gonna have a rough relationship with each other and it's not gonna work out and you can't be civil, 
and you know, especially if there's really weird secrets that everybody will think you're weird for, like um, I don't know, like if you haven't showered in like a year and you've just been, you know, just just putting on deodorant and spraying yourself with Febreze and cologne for the past year, uh, or something like that. Just I, th that was a really weird thing to come up with, but um, just stuff like that, and it would really suck. So I think I would rather choose uh, a different secret, just because it depends on the kind of secrets I reveal, and I could. I mean, eventually I would have to reveal some deep secrets, and I might hurt some people, and and it might suck in that regard. But if you have paparazzi follow you around, chances are they're gonna find out a lot of those secrets anyways so I'm gonna say that one wow really I would see the thing about it is um a lot of people's reasonings are different than mine so um with all of these if you guys want um if you guys really uh think it would be a good idea I, I think it'd be a pretty good idea just for the sake of the interaction because as you guys know I love interacting with you guys it's so cool knowing you guys thoughts and just talking to you guys and, um, you know, because I don't want you guys just to laugh at my voice cracks like you probably did a couple seconds ago. I like just talking to you guys and stuff like that. So, if you guys want, if there's like a certain predicament in here that you guys would have thought differently about or that if you agreed on, with me on, it would be cool for you to tell me in the comments to, uh, tell me why. I think that'd be pretty cool. Okay, next one. Would you rather be a hawk or be a shark? Ooh, this is pretty hard. Okay, think about it. If you're a shark... Shock. <laughs> I just combined the two animals in once. I am the shock. It's a flying shark. Oh, no, watch out <laughs> But anyways, um, if you're okay, if you're a shark you are one of the most feared creatures on the planet, you know, there's almost nothing that could stop you, you know, you're, you're a deadly creature, you, you're you always going around and you're just destroying everything in your path and there's nothing in your way. Uh, and the same thing kind of goes for a hawk, you know, I mean, hawks do get trained and some, I, I don't know if they get hunted, they might be, but um, it's hard to kill either of these things. So I think this is kind of a thing as what lifestyle would you want to live and I would probably rather choose hawk because hawks can sleep, whereas sharks can never stop moving. Do they sleep? I think sharks sleep and they just have... Oh, sorry. Oh, God. Um, I think sharks sleep and... Um, or I'm not sure if sharks sleep. I think they might. I, I don't know if they do. Uh, tell me in the comment section below because I'm not sure. But I'm just going to assume that um, because they have to move all the time, even if they do sleep, sleep is kind of tedious and it's just because they have to and it's not like comfortable like how I... Like how humans, as humans, we take naps and I'm pretty sure as uh, being a hawk, you would take naps and stuff like that too. So that would kind of um, be a benefit to the hawk. But as a hawk, you could just fly around and go super fast and uh, you could swoop down on enemies and get them and you could run away from predators by just going uh, uh, super, super high in the sky or, you know, you could hide from uh, maybe some kind of other aerial predator who's bigger than you by going down low on the ground uh, you know there's a lot of possibilities for a hawk whereas a shark is kind of more limited uh, not only in what they can eat and how they can find what they eat because the sh ocean is just so massive the ocean ocean is so huge um, I mean it's not hard for them to find food obviously they're one of the most thriving populations in the ocean they're the freaking shark but um, I just think it would be more convenient being a hawk because you could fly around and you would just be so cool and then if you just ha so happened to get trained by some dude named Bob and you guys could just go out and you could just hunt animals together and you could give him food, he could give you food that's more better prepared than the stuff you could hunt for yourself and it'd just be a good relationship. So Bob, I'm picking this one for you. Yeah, everybody agrees with me. Alright, cool. Alright, so would you rather lose an eye and a hand, ooh, lose a leg and an ear? Okay, so let's think about this. If you lose an one eye, uh, a big part of people's vision is their peripheral and basically that's just the thing where you see uh, slightly different uh, things with both of your eyes to create one image. Just cl just imagine it. Close one eye right now. That's a lot of stuff that you guys can't see. You know what I mean? Like to the right of me. Uh, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know I um, have a Foxy doll. That's not super important, but like if I close my right eye, I can't see Foxy. So I won't be able to see if she suddenly comes to life and tries to murder my face. She, it's creeping me out now. She's looking at me. I'm just going to turn you around. And so you can't look at me. Uh, there we go. Anyways, um... If you lose an eye, that would really suck, you know what I mean? You can't see your peripherals, so that would really suck. Uh, and if you lose a hand, depending on what hand it is, you would have to go through the whole experience of learning how to write again, which would really suck. And, um, so that would really, really suck, but if you lose a leg and an ear, if you lose a leg, it's harder for you to walk, but, uh, I think depending on, like, how much of the leg you lose and stuff like that, you could get a, a fake leg and it'll still be 
pretty easy for you to walk. And worst comes to worst, you can get a wheelchair. Um, and that's not as bad as not having a hand. Because, like, if you don't have a hand, you can't play video games anymore. Uh, and I love video games. You guys know how much I love video games, obviously, because I have this YouTube channel. So, uh, I think the leg would be pretty more easily replaceable, and the peripheral revision and the hand thing would suck. Plus, if you lose an ear, it would suck not being able to take advantage of, like, video games, uh, that take advantage of the whole left and right thing, and you couldn't hear certain things coming from certain sides, but I don't think that would be nearly as bad as losing an eye and a hand because of the video game kind of thing, so... I, I know that it's kind of silly of me to think about video games when there's so many other things, like preparing food and stuff like that and just daily other stuff and li life like that but you know video games and YouTube and stuff like that's a big part of my life and that involves both my hands so I'd rather lose a leg and an ear yeah everybody agrees with me all right that's cool uh, let's see okay oh god oh god these are the hard ones I hate the ones like this okay if you were starving would you rather eat a plate full of poop or eat a human foot I think this one's pretty easy because if you ate if you ate poop would probably get very very sick very very fast plus you would probably barely wouldn't even be able to eat it and it would just suck and you would probably throw it up and just feel awful and just sick and it just wouldn't be a good experience but if you eat a human foot you could chop that thing down you can cut it up you can cook it you can make it into a meal and it won't be as bad I know that sounds horrible and I don't mean to sound like I'm a cannibal or something like that although I would be in that situation uh, but you guys get my point I, it would be way better to eat a human foot yeah, see, people, that's, that was kind of a silly one. Ooh, this is a good one. For the rest of your life, shut up, dog, keep barking outside. For the rest of your life, would you rather have all superpowers you want, but always be alone, or be a normal person but be popular? Ooh. Okay, so think about it. If you have all superpowers, you could do anything. You could zap the greatest meal ever into your hands immediately. You could go into the future and see the future of like perfect... You could see the perfected ver version of virtual reality in the future. Uh, you know, you could fly, you could zap people, you could do whatever. But you're alone and being alone sucks. I mean, don't get me wrong. In my lifestyle that I like to live, I love being alone. Being alone is just time for me to think, do what I want, watch YouTube, edit videos, play video games. But I still like talking to people, you know what I mean? Because um, in this context, you still couldn't even um, talk to people like through text, I'm assuming, and stuff like that. So that would really, really suck. But if you were a normal person and you were popular, being a normal person now still isn't really too bad. But not having all those superpowers would really suck. But I think it would be a lot harder for me to be alone and not have anyone to talk to or, you know... Uh, people to just tell about my problems and stuff like that or like it would really really suck if I didn't have you guys to make videos for because then what would I be making videos for you know what I mean that would really suck so um I think I would rather be a normal person but be popular and not that like I want to be popular uh, because I know as being a youtuber that probably is a part of this you know you guys might think that it's not about the popularity it's just I would rather be a normal person and have people to talk to because I just think people are so important in your life so if you guys don't have anybody to talk to in your life please try and make friends with someone or I'm here as well if you guys want to uh, you know message my pages on I always leave them in the description below so if you guys are just lonely and there's no one you guys have I'm here for you guys because I know how much it sucks to just be stuck by yourself and not have anyone to talk to so that got, that got kind of deep I didn't mean for it to get like like that but just yeah I would rather be a normal person to be popular yeah and the majority of people agree with me but this one was kind of split and I totally get why all right uh, I'm not gonna do too many more because this is running a little long so um I'm probably just gonna do two three more so uh yeah uh, would you rather show your friends and family your entire internet history, oh god, or live near an active volcano? Oh god. So think about this, all that porn you've been looking up, all that freaking disgusting freaking j just this awful vile nasty porn you've been looking up, your entire family is gonna be able to see it. Or maybe some other weird stuff, maybe you looked up a website on how to cook humans, that would be really dark, that got really bad really quick, I'm sorry. Um, but maybe you looked up some really, really awful stuff. You've been looking up porn. You've been looking up how to kill your mom. You've been looking up how to, uh, freaking masturbate as quietly as possible so your family doesn't find out. I haven't done that, I swear. But, uh, <clears throat> um, everybody's gonna see it. And depending on how strict your parents are and, uh, like, depending on what age you are and depending on, like, 
what kind of how people will react and plus it's your friends too so like if you have like a um a girlfriend that you have or something like that and she sees all the porn you've been looking up or like if you have just a bunch of your guy friends who see you've been looking up a bunch of ways to impress people or something like that i don't know um there's a multitude of weird things you could be looking up i don't look the majority of these things up obviously but um th that would really suck but if you live near an active volcano it would Ah, it, it, it would really, well, because, because see, active volcanoes, it's like, most volcanoes, I think, at least, I think, that, uh, most volcanoes in today's society, in today's world, are dormant, but the active ones usually don't eru erupt very often, but if it does erupt, it's gonna suck, and you might die, and your home might be destroyed, and that would really suck, and all that internet that you wanted to use, you wouldn't be able to use, so, just for the sake of safety, and just for, you know, basic life, I think it would be a little easier to show my family my internet history, as much, as much as I really don't want them to see stuff like that, um, I think it's better than, you know, risking your life in a volcano, so, yeah, I, I totally get why this one was split, okay.